Hey everybody, welcome to the Dave Cooking Show. Today I'm going to teach you how to make my famous cheese enchiladas. They are the best that you'll ever have. Uh, real simple to make and uh, with this you will, be, you, will, you will discover the most pleasure you'll, well almost the most pleasure you could ever experience. All right, we start with the basic ingredients. Here's what you're going to need. First of all, you're going to need some corn tortillas. Uh, they're about uh, five inches, I guess. And you need uh, corn tortillas better than flour for cheese enchiladas. Okay, uh, and then of course you need a mountain of cheese. This is two kinds of cheese. Uh, it is half cheddar and half uh, pepper jack cheese. Now you can just use regular Monterey Jack. If you want a little kick in it, add the... Uh, the pepper jack and that's evenly mixed together and then of course you have your red onions chopped up really nice that's for the adult enchiladas I leave those out of the kids enchiladas okay now the most important ingredient of all it's the secret ingredient it is El Rio enchilada sauce you have to get the El Rio you can get all kinds of other brands but I have tried them all there's nothing better than the El Rio and that's just a basic 15 ounce can You'll need one of those. And lastly, you will need a pan, uh, 9 by whatever that is, 12 pan, to cook everything in. Now, step one. You will take a pan. I've already done this, so but I'm just going to tell you what to do. Take a little uh, skillet. I pour, you know, maybe a quarter inch of oil in there. And then I will take the uh, corn tortilla. And I will lay it in there, and it will cook. And for about 10 to 15 seconds, then I flip it over, of course, with the skillet, with the spatula, I mean, 10 to 15 seconds, and then I lay it out here on a paper towel and let it soak through nice and greasy. All right, so once you do that, you do that for about, you know, however many you're going to cook, and that usually takes, you know, 10 to 15 minutes. So once you're done there, uh, then you got all your stuff laid out, then I come over and I'm going to put this at about, oh, I don't know, three... 375 and I'll let that start warming up. Now, what you do is you take your your tortilla. All right, you lay it flat in the pan. You can come over here and grab a bunch of cheese and lay it right in the middle. Okay, and then you're going to take some onion put it right there. Now you could put a little sauce in there now, but I just dump, wait and dump the sauce on the end. Okay, so let me try to wrap this up with one hand. <laughs> and that's not easy. i do it and lay it right over there. And then of course we'll cover our mistakes here. Stuff it into the pan. So I'm going to do that for all of these and then I will be ready when I'm done. Alright, we're back. And I have wrapped up seven... Uh, cheese enchiladas again with um, red onions and cheese that is Monterey Jack and cheddar. Stuffed them in there pretty good. I'll, I, I personally like to pack the cheese in really tight. It, believe it or not, it takes a lot of cheese. You can see my mountain of cheese is declining now. I have my open can of enchilada sauce, El Rio, of course, and I'm just going to dump it on there. Just dump it on. Um, get it. Pretty much completely covered. It's hard to do while holding a camera. And uh, I'm going to save a little bit for something else I'm going to do with it later. But oh, I shake the can up pretty good too because you see there's a little chunky. I've tried to shake this one up, but it could be better. Okay. Now, with that, I'm going to save the rest for something else I'm doing here. Okay. And then now. I'm going to take a fork, probably. I'm just going to spread this over. Get it really good and covered. All right. Now, then what I do with the remaining cheese... By the way, I like to cover the whole thing. I'm running a little short here cover the whole thing then you don't get those crispy edges which I'm not a big fan of crispy edges my cheese enchilada okay there we go now 
going to take a handful of cheese and we're going to sprinkle. And then that usually is all you need. That makes really good enchiladas. So you stick them in the onion oven, the onion, stick them in the oven for 375 for about 20 minutes or until they're really good and bubbly. Bring them out and serve. It's all good. Okay, it's time to get the enchiladas out of the oven. Me and Mr. Oven Mitt are gonna do that. Alright, get a good get a good shot. Oh man, look at that. There they are. Nice and bubbly. And that will be dinner. All right, now we have a couple of enchiladas on the plate, a few little cheese nachos. Then we're going to cut the bite here and we'll take our first bite. Dad, can I take a picture of you? No. Why? Mm, delicious. Why? Lily, how's the enchilada? Good. Spicy? It is? A little bit hot? I liked it though, right? Hmm? You like it though, right? Yeah. Dad? What about you, Connor? Now my kid-friendly version of this is to use a flour tortilla and put the sauce inside. So you just wrap the sauce and the cheese inside a tortilla and make a burrito, or as I call it, an enchurito. So that's the Dave Enchilada show for the day. Appreciate you tuning in and enjoy these often. It'll make your life a lot better.